Okay, so this is one good way of practicing speed reading. It's literally just drawing a bunch of circles about the limit of as far as your eye can, as far as your peripheral vision can see. That's all there is to this one. Now this, with this technique, you want to be able to move quickly in between um, rows. So you want to go like this, or something like something really quickly down the page. But um, the way you do it is you're not looking at, say, the circle. And then you look at this circle, and then you look at this circle, and you did, and then you look at this circle. Your eyes is not supposed to be snappy. It's not going to jump from here to there. Now, with your peripheral vision, you're you see both rows, both rows, but you lightly focus on this one a little bit more than this one. So then you switch focus a little more to this one than to this than to this one. So you're going front and back really quickly you literally see the entire you see this entire part with your peripheral vision but you're minimizing the jumping as much as you can so say pretend this is one paragraph on the on a page so pretend this is just one paragraph or one page one page you're going to stare down the entire page go down the middle of it and pretend this is one end and this is the other end you're going to make this half a little clearer than this half and then when you switch sides you make this half a little more clear than this half but you're not jumping around between sides because that'll, that'll just make it too slow so you're just going down the page and switching your focus between two sides very lightly and you probably won't have any eye strain either if you've practiced speed reading for um, if you if you if you've ever practiced speed reading, you know that if you try jumping around from page from from line to line, it's really tiring on your eyes, and you probably can't go more than a few pages doing that.